review on the web and on the YouTube channel. I've got George Dukas now hanging out with me. You probably know him from Lipstick Promises and also from writing hit songs for George Jones, Garth Brooks, Sarah Evans, Eli Young Band, and himself on his new 4340. Be sure and check that out. It's got some great songs on you, it. You should be my publicist. <laughs> you did such a good job with that. that Look, there's a shot of it. There's the there new record. That's yeah. the new, that's right, it record. sounds awesome. CD. Yeah, well, so you brought in some awesome guitars from your collection, George, and I appreciate it. I did. In fact, um, <laughs> you're playing this. You can't hit a bad chord on this thing. It's, it's a, crazy, it's isn't it? It's a 69 it? Martin D8, D28. D28, that's right. Brazilian Rosewood. Um, uh, and bought and it with you, the first royalties I ever made in the business. At George Gruen's. From playing um, a song that I wrote. With, I was so young at the time, I was still figuring out how to write songs, but I wrote the song called Just Call Me Lonesome with a buddy of mine, Radney Foster, who's yeah. kind of like, like my uncle or big brother in the business. Yeah, you did a bunch of stuff with him. But yeah, mm -hmm. uh, we wrote this song. So that's the riff. That is but, uh, awesome. It was a song back in like 93. I just yeah. moved to town. And, uh, from Texas? Yeah, from Texas. So out of that money, I bought this guitar. And, just, and uh, it's just been a, a keepsake. Oh my gosh, it sounds incredible. And even though it's had like a broken headstock from when you were on a, on a new show, right? Uh, it got fixed up, still plays and sounds great. You're still writing songs on it. Yep. It just doesn't tour with you anymore. Yeah, I don't, I don't take it out on the road anymore. I take a, a newer D28 with me now. So, um, But actually, the, the, the television station gave me the newer. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they paid for me to have a new D28 right. when they broke this one. So That is awesome. You yeah, can yeah, never true. have enough Martins or yeah, guitars abso in general. Absolutely, right? Well, man, you brought some great selections from your collection also, George. And we're going to start off talking about the, <laughs> the Buck Owens. The Buck Owens is uh, just a, a real sentimental piece. Um, I met Buck on many occasions back when he was alive. And he was a, um, he was a hero of mine musically and, and, and a little bit of a mentor in his later years. I met him probably the last two or three years of his of his life and uh, met him on, on radio tours on a couple of occasions wow. um, when I was touring, you know, doing radio tours to introduce the, my, my records when I was on Capitol. And, and really throughout that process, we became friends and a lot of my music really hearkened and championed his, his you know, his, his Bakersfield sound. And what's amazing, George, is that you found this piece on eBay and then you had Joe Glazer go ahead and, and set things up on That's it. That's right. It was a little bit of a mess when I got it and Joe fixed it up, did a really great job fixing it up. What and, a great instrument. Um, I, I haven't seen an original example of one of those in a long time. Yeah, it's from the 60s. <laughs> uh, or maybe it's 71, I can't remember, but it's like whatever the year it came out, that's the year it is. That's and beautiful. Well, I want to make sure, too, and talk about Fender. I know you've had a great relationship with Fender over the years. I do. Obviously, uh, playing a lot of their guitars and everything. And this uh, telly that we're showing right now is one that you bought from your lead guitarist. Joe Cook, that's right. right. I bought it from my lead guitarist when I didn't, uh, I didn't have a telly in town and we were supposed to play the Opry. <laughs> so um, Fender has been a, has been a, uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge Fender guy and, and they've been really supportive of me and my touring, particularly down in Texas yeah. um, the last several years. And, uh, um, but I, I needed a guitar for the Opry and uh, Joe, my, my buddy and lead guitar player, let me borrow his and he's, it's a he's great one. He's got, dolled it all up. Yeah, it's got the rosewood neck. It's got the Cluson tuners. It's had the uh, the neck pickup changed. I think the neck pickup is original, but the bridge has the Seymour Duncan. That's right. And, and the binding on the body. And I mean, that that looks awesome. That fits the Opry well. It does. It really does. <laughs> I, I could I couldn't go on there with a Strat or, no. or, or, or you know, yeah. uh, it just didn't seem right. So anyway. Um, I, I wound up buying it from him, yeah. and uh, just because it, it, I think too, that was a smart move. It became a real sentimental piece too, and, and um, he, he fortunately he updated me with what all he's done to, with what all he's done to the yeah. guitar, which you aptly yeah, just, which you aptly went over. Well, you know, uh, you brought another great piece with you that you use a lot. Now, you use this one on the road some now. I do some sometimes. Um, like if I'm leaving from Nashville, I'll take that one as my acoustic. If I'm playing down, if I'm not going to Texas, but right. if I'm going to Texas, I already got a, a, a Martin down there that stays there, yeah. so, I, so I don't have to but bring it. But this is the home. Gibson J100, and uh, what an incredible neck and incredible sound. It's real different than your 200, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. I um, mean, the neck is so much uh, slimmer, you know, and, and I mean, it's just, it's aging out nicely. I was talking uh, to Carly and I mentioned, well, this is a 94 because it's got the sticker inside the, the that's, sound hole. That's right, that's and, right. And uh, so it's the 100 the year model. It was in a time when uh, Gibson was doing a lot of art and artist endorsement things and I fortunately had just just gotten a record deal and I wanted one that wasn't um, a sunburst or yeah. or too fancy schmancy hummingbird kind of thing. I didn't really want that. I just wanted a plain blonde. You know, I just like I like it. I like I, them I like them tall and blonde. <laughs> 
but like, <laughs> and, and your guitars too. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, but like, it's just a cool. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I like the evenness of the J100 sound. Well, it sounds great. I love it. Sounds anytime you play, it sounds great. Now you've got a new CD out with 4340, and you're going to be touring on that. And and I know I've heard some of the tracks on the radio. Um, yeah, it, well, on, on some some radio, we're we're, and we're it, really it's doing looking, very well in Texas, where you're does, from. It, it does well in Texas. A couple of the songs have already been hits uh, on Texas radio over the past year. Well, now, where can people find out more about your touring and everything? Also, you know, your website. All that is George Dukas. <laughs> if, uh, please come find me, georgedukas.com. Um, Everything's there. You can even get a signed copy of the CD there. Awesome. Um, and and so, also the and if you you know the CDs are also available on Amazon and and, and other you know of music course vendors. all the digital outlets am, Amazon.com. Yeah, if you're from Texas, you're aware of the, the store called Hastings, but uh, <laughs> but also Hastings.com or Go Hastings. Okay. I think is what it is. Um, and then you've and, also got your uh, fan page on Facebook and iTunes, of course. It's oh there, yeah, there as yeah. Well. Everybody's doing the iTunes. Uh, Facebook is uh, you can find my artist page there, uh -huh. and that's George Facebook.com backslash George Dukas and the number number one. Um, Twitter is just at George underscore Dukas. I'll come find what. me, come <laughs> find me. I'm around. I'm, I'm around. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm playing awesome <laughs> guitars and I'm really, I'm very impressed with the new CD. Thank you, man. You I know, appreciate I it. Coming, coming from a mutual uh, music lover, guitar player, yeah. um, guitar collector that you are, so uh, that means even more. You yeah, know, I'll tell you what, man, I, you know, you've got a great selection and you definitely know how to play them and uh, writing some hit songs as well. Well, thank you. I appreciate so, uh, it. Well, I get lucky every now and then to write one. So. Well, you have to come back on. Be sure and check out George Dukas, uh, you know, once again on his website, on Facebook, on tour. He's, he's bigger than Elvis in Texas also <laughs> and here in Nashville. And so uh, be sure and check him out. Thanks for watching the Rock and Review.